Paso, and on the edge of the Rocky Mountains there, beautiful, where your parents would kick you out of the, the house at six, seven in the morning, and you'd come back for lunch and come back for dinner. And you'd be up on the foothills of the Rockies or out, gosh, nowhere, but not much danger. Well, I did cut a finger off. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's actually how I got out of piano lessons for my mom. But about Mark, this is about Mark. And we had four merits already, boys. And my mom always wanted a girl, you know, at least one. So when Mark was born, you know, all the neighbors are kind of waiting to see if there's going to be a Barrett girl. And found out it was Mark Brendan Barrett was born. So I ran down the street. And these were, we have gravel streets there. And there were no paved roads. And I'm just saying to all the neighbors, hey, hey, it's a boy, it's a boy, Mark Brendan. And everybody's going. It's, it's no big deal, I'm sorry. So another boy and then another boy and then she ran out of eggs or something <laughs> but i want to tell you a quick story when mark we had to babysit the older ones the younger ones and mark was just a tiny baby i'm 11 years old wow and i remember on the couch in roundup and she'd say watch the baby so i'm watching the baby and this one day i'm sitting there and i'm kind of the artist in the family and i'm cutting out some things to make some kind of collage or something and she says, don't do it next to the baby. You'll drop those scissors and poke his eye out. <laughs> I'm thinking, sure, mom, okay. And I kind of shift and then I go right back. Lo and behold, about two minutes later, I fumbled the scissors. And where do they go? This little baby next to me. They go right down and poke him right in the eye. <laughs> Is there a God? <laughs> so I'm watching this baby and a little drop of blood comes out. And I'm wiping it. Because she's going back and forth with laundry. And every time it came up, I'm wiping it. Mark's going, ah, ah. rocking the baby, wiping off the blood. This little drop would come, nothing severe. And I thought, oh my gosh. So in the end, probably, I don't know whether or not, but this young man lost his hearing when he was young. But that wasn't me. That wasn't me. But he did turn out to be the one of the most fantastic young, how would I say, we used to play games and have a lot of fun. I was kind of coming home um, and I kind of, I was kind of a comedy writer in those days too and I'd bring home jokes and he did them well. He'd do a uh, little stand up to Marlon Brando, a lot of things. He did a great job. Anyway, I want to say that it's very special being part of this family, and I'm glad that my folks didn't practice birth control <laughs> after two or three. Love you. Hardworking, Helena, Highlands College, history, host, commentator, husband to Gail, intelligent, Irish, jazz, Jewish, labor movement, Las Vegas, loving, mentor, mining, Montana Grizzlies, Montana State Bobcats, Montana, <laughs> motivating, music, omelet maker, Plan Parenthood, politics, PowerPoint presentation master, <laughs> producer, quick-witted, Red Lodge, respected, roundup, Rye bread from Great Buns. <laughs> Sandwich maker. Sports. St. John's University strategic teacher TV series in the Crucible of Change. Unions. Upbeat writer. Anyway, love you, Dad. Bye. Bye. Hey guys. Good glasses. You know, you know, you know. And so you just had to do this kind of stuff. I remember the fucking jokes. But uh, what the hell was it? The, 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 was that your car in the parking lot? The car in the parking lot. Now that was a true story. That was no joke. Oh, <laughs> 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 that was about a couple of girls. <laughs> 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 a horse walks into a Six bar. Six Foster Brooks. Oh, the sex doll. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Guys, how it starts because uh, the guy did the so setup. First, you gotta get drunk. A horse walks into a bar.
it ends up he's being seen by somebody. He's all he's all disheveled and he's all you know screwed up. He's and, and he says that. Uh, uh, oh, he was, he was just very upset anyway. He came downstairs and he uh, well he went in. He, he said uh, he said he was uh, sitting at the bar. And he, he said, uh, where do you get some fun around here? And the guy says, well, you know, you can go up to room 302 and there's a lady up there. And, 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 and she said, so he went up and his, he comes back down to the guy at the bar. And, and he's just totally shaken. And the guy says, well, what's the matter? He's well, he says, well, you wouldn't believe. He says, I went up to room 302. And I knocked around the door, and nobody answered. So I opened it up and I went in, and there she was. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Lay out on the bed so perfectly, and I looked at her and I knew that she wanted me. <laughs> I bet you. He said so. I went and I, I got out of the bed next to her and. She was with me to move him, but then I, I leaned over and he said, well, well what's, what's the matter? He says, well, he said, you wouldn't believe what happened. He says, I said, I, I leaned over his head and I, and I bit her on the nipple. And, and she farted twice and flew around the room three times and went right out the window. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I used to do I used to do the That is good. That is better than Foster Bruce. That was great. Happy birthday, dear Mark and Happy birthday to you. And you look like what's your name? Now you know, I figured out why that was in tune. Say that I wasn't singing. Big nose.